Hey, it's me. You'll always be you, no matter what you look like, no matter how much money you make, or how many friends you have, no matter how successful you become. And don't worry, everything that you want, it'll come. So hello, pile of card one. For those of you who've chosen this um, sexual magic oracle card saying romanticism, it's got number 33. So it's either you've been seeing a lot of uh, repetitive numerical patterns of 33, number six as well. Um, this could be just confirmation that you're, of course, on the right path. The universe is trying to communicate with you. Of course, someone could be 33 years old. There's some significance with such number. So what you don't see coming in your love life, we'll start with the Seven of Swords energy. What's coming unexpected? Please beware that we are officially now in Mercury retrograde. So there are patterns resurfacing that needs... Uh, us revisiting the past as such uh, the seven of swords can talk about lurking in the past of course because let's just let's just see the context of what else comes out for you we have the empress and we have the lovers okay wow uh libra taurus gemini energy here uh there is some life path ultra okay first and foremost what may be coming towards you that you're not expecting is conception i'm not gonna say any more if this is not something you're looking to uh perpetrate indulge in right now then beware because you are very fertile it could be a decision needing to be made about this and i feel like someone may be um some of you may even decide to withhold this information from your partner right uh interesting okay let's see what else uh you may be uh wow you got the ten of pentacles and then you got the magician someone's about to choose you right pile one card one someone's about to choose you and you're you're about to embark on this journey an infinite journey of family legacy decades long commitment and maybe even mirroring with your twin flame because you are pertaining into divine feminine energy the empress is the divine feminine archetype you had been working hard on yourself right you've been working on self-care you've been working on loving yourself you've been working on trauma healing oh wow and then you got the ace of cups what beautiful energies you have right here there's a new beginning in love you are getting a break finally if you're finding yourself to be single let me assure you that the next relationship is going to be life-changing very profound and something that'll build family legacy and again decades long commitment this is where you're setting your roots if you're finding yourself you know you always wanted to have a big family or you always you know when you get older you want to have a load of grandchildren and you want to like get have massive christmas get togethers because maybe lately you've been finding yourself to be alone on special occasions or there's not many people you could be surrounded by a lot of people but the problem is they still may make you feel lonely so what you may find is that finally you know you're creating this um tapping into the ability to have the future that you want right so you're not really expecting this but finally healing is coming you're moving on moving away from trickster energies from fraudulent energies right there could be someone at a distance uh coming towards you someone's traveling towards you that may take you by surprise they, they are going to be withholding this information from you or this could be some type of sneaky meeting you've got the judgment uh wow okay the judgment and the moon someone's coming back to you into your life unexpectedly around the full moon which will be taking place as of we're recording now at the end of november on the 15th of december pisces may be coming back into your life uh you are getting you're gonna start getting these downloads about this particular person whether you know them or you don't with the judgment i would assume this is somebody that's coming back into your life that you already know and again we are already in mercury retrograde right now so you know expect the unexpected when it comes to excess coming back into your life but uh, uh you know this may your confusion beware of succumbing to vices or temptations as well because the seven of cups with the moon energy could be overindulging in uh, alcoholic beverages illicit substances overeating uh some of you are very much stuck in your head around this mercury retrograde you see the full moon phases are very much highlighted in these two cards the empress and the seven of swords so i feel like around the full moon especially around a couple of days before the 15th of december a couple of days after <coughs> you feel out of sorts you feel like 
there's a pattern to be repeated stemming from your past but with this moon energy i feel like you need to trust your intuition see through the veil the veil will be thinning for you around the full moon and where i'm going with this is that if something doesn't feel right you're probably right and if something feels like maybe you're just over exaggerating the situation then you're probably right too because although that seven of swords is there um let me just clarify why is that seven of swords is there could be some baby mama drama or somebody's baby mama's causing them drama as well so let's say your person's uh, baby mama's around and she's causing issues we've got the ten of swords someone could be faking an ending with you if someone faked an ending with you they will be coming back that's what's coming unexpected it could be a piscean uh libra taurus gemini uh in particular here but someone someone betrayed you someone left you for dead so to speak right they faked an ending but they have no intentions to end things with you. So this is just clarification for you. You need to work on your crown chakra. I keep on seeing this purple hue standing up to me right now. Just to gain more universal knowledge about what's what. Um, in terms of synchronously connecting to the divine. To see the signs that are going to perpetrate your way forward. That was a very channel message that just came through. So some of you really need to take heed on this. Um, I mean I was saying it. But I wasn't thinking what I was saying. So it makes sense to you. Um okay there's a king of pentacles uh taurus maybe the main player here for you coming back uh, or one of your options potentially if it's not taurus capricorn or a virgo could be uh a male uh, above the age of 35 black brown hair brown eyes tan or darker complexion this person is very family oriented this person is trustworthy and this is someone you've been manifesting for a while this is somebody uh you may be in two minds about when they come forth some of you need to wear amethyst or work with amethyst or sleep with amethyst under your pillow so you will get some dreams come through which are very imperative in this situation um with the knight of swords gemini energy here again can you see all these absolutely um seven of pentacles and the king of swords okay some of you uh some of you are gonna have uh, several people to choose from maybe right now with the sun leo energy here you've got aquarius and gemini so any air sign potentially or any earth sign is uh playing a pivotal role here but it's either there could be an unexpected conflict taking place between you and your person which may make you feel like this situation is just going nowhere uh this situation is so stagnant this person is very detached from you but this is happening because you and your person this one particular person this could be the same person they may have air and earth in their placements as a preliminary um zodiac as such so <clears throat> i don't know it's the aquarius sun taurus moon then they have libra ascendant or they have capricorn ascendant whatever the situation right so this, this person switches they have this uh, innate ability to either be very detached and very cold or very sensual and very doting and it just depends what mood you catch them in right but my point is a pattern needs to be repeated butterflies may be of synchronistic sign you need to pay attention to the moon phases as well remember the full moon is very pivotal there is some pattern uh, that's going to resurrect within the next three weeks again 15th of december a couple days give or take where the past life karma needs to be healed or there's some lesson to be learned between you and your person again so we go through these cycles right um what's, what's the unexpected thing with the four of pentacles it could be you know that somebody's gonna um be offish with you they're gonna hold off they're not gonna speak they're gonna uh, be moody with you with this four of pentacles somebody may be just very uh tight with their finances as well like you'd expect because maybe christmas is coming maybe you expect your person to at least send your card or buy your card or something and you may find that this person is not even investing much in you so this is quite unexpected so expect the unexpected in a sense or don't expect anything from anyone basically right because it may lead to some type of conflict but we have the two the two of cups energy right so i feel like from confusion from being offish with each other, from maybe even faking an ending with each other, there will re-merge the soulmate connection. The soulmate connection will revert back to how it used to be. So this, if this is something you're not expecting, just know this is your sign that things will get get better, get back to normal. Remember the romanticism card there as well. So it does talk about two people engaging, indulging. Some of you need to hydrate yourselves more. Keep on seeing water there, water there. Then we've got justice and the hermit. This is a karmic cycle that needs to be cleared. 
the rejection is divine's protection but with the king and the queen of pentacles you are dealing with somebody who is very much committed to you they may be coming in and out but they will always come back to you remember if you truly love somebody let them go if it comes back it's yours if it, if it doesn't it never was we need to stop forcing things we need to sit in the law of detachment and manifest things to come to us by being more loving towards ourselves and controlling the things we can control instead of diverting our energy on things we can't like them not talking to you them acting up them fighting you them pretending they're done with the bullshit or they're done with you them pushing you down instead of sulking instead of explaining yourself all the time instead of begging calling and asking them to see your worth see your own worth withdraw stay in silence actions speak louder than words instead of you worrying and waiting for this person to see your worth invest in your own worth don't waste your time with things that are meaningless people come and go right you need to remind this person that people come and go but they're not going nowhere so <laughs> let me assure you they're going nowhere let's see what the uh what else <clears throat> passion so allow your heart and soul to sing with joy yeah so there could be some passion if there is distance we could be talking about phone sex it could be that you know you're very sexually compatible maybe this that this that connection does that telepathic connection intuitive connection could be a twin flame soulmate connection definitely a past life aspect is happening here for you so this is very much highlighted like this connection what you don't see coming is with will go through trials and tribulations but at the end of the day if you still don't see this you will regroup and come back together there's the scarcity mindset but the scarcity mindset is for better or for worse there's definitely some intimacy coming for some of you very unexpected intimacy which may be the end of a relationship as well on the flip side with this tower be careful not to succumb to temptations as i say don't over drink don't overuse substances don't um you know get into the, the the desires of the flesh where you're like well they're not talking to me they ended things with me so let me go and fuck my ex or that kind of energy right don't do that i do see sex but with that tower and the death card the two minutes of pleasure may lead to your own demise because when this person comes back and says that they want to be with you you're going to feel shit, you're going to feel guilty and you're risking losing this person forever if they do find out you've done something behind their back because of things being wishy-washy or you guys taking a break, right? So beware because this person will be here for you for better or for worse, but there is definitely some tower energy which will yield a great deal of change. Someone may be getting blocked as well, but things will be worked through within three days. This person will admit their feelings towards you. So there's a warning here. Well, you don't expect uh, you don't expect this tower energy coming in by this. I mean, succumbing to temptation because the person you love is acting up or they're not talking to you or you feel like they're doing something behind your back. Just assumptions, assumptions is the mother of all fuck-ups. We know this, right? Don't assume. Don't allow your past trauma uh, or, or trauma bonding to get the better of you as well, where you're like, oh my God, they're not talking to me. That means they're fucking somebody else and I must go and do the same so I can get one over them. Don't play games. Focus on yourself. Focus on that Empress energy. Imagine, release your ex. Exactly. Don't dabble with the ex because the ex is going to bring in that tower and the death energy, the ten of ones energy. Not only that ex is not going to be there for you and you're going to feel used, you're also at a risk of losing your person. Do the right thing. Imagine, lo and behold, you know, you sleep with your ex whilst you're with somebody that you truly love, but you're taking a break or they're being acting funny. Um, you think it's over, although deep down you hope things can work up but then you sleeping with your ex you end up conceiving what do you do then you're not going to be with the ex now you're with a baby and possibly you're, the person you love is coming back oh my goodness Don't avoid this mess free yourself free yourself from all patterns this is what this mercury retrograde is about for you what you don't see coming is the ability to break free from the past patterns it's time to jump into a new timeline stop feeling sorry for yourself and stop being conditioned by the past experiences yes we've all been through trauma yes we've all been somewhat more some are more than others have been through the trauma but it's now your responsibility to not feel sorry for yourself or become the product of that trauma and continue that lineage of trauma, right? So wedding. So maybe, maybe yeah, even seeking a divorce. You may be hearing about someone divorcing as well. So maybe freeing themselves. 
uh this could be the one you are dealing with the one and there is going to be a reconciliation but someone's going to lose out because there's unrequited love so i feel like there is three people here right there's like energetically you the person you love who's the one and the ex the ex the ex should be the unrequited love the ex shouldn't be release your ex free yourself don't sleep with them because energetically if you sleep with a person you shouldn't be sleeping with you're opening yourself up to that person you're ingesting their demons you're ingesting their karma somewhat because sex is not just about a bit of pleasure as you know sex is a spiritual exchange be very cautious you're exchanging your energies with because you're gonna feel ashamed damn right guilt embarrassed and you know you're gonna be in the wrong and when your person comes back and they're trying to reconcile with you you're gonna feel 10 billion times worse Instead of just withholding yourself a little bit from temptation and thinking, shit, I shouldn't be going back to the ex because they're going to screw me over. They're not good. I don't even want to be with them. I want to be with this person, but, you know, they're being mean to me. They're not talking to me, you know. Monetary situation could get worse. You need to, you know, someone's acting happily single. You, if someone leaves you, do you work on your career set goals be stress-free give them the time they need and if it's over it's over let it go let it go and let it be but don't let go of your own focus of your own career goals of your own financial situation if you over drink if you succumb to temptations vices you're opening another karmic tie that's gonna be you keeping secrets and it could be that you know you're even maybe going back to the ex who already has a family or who's already married so there's even more worse karma to to reap someone's going to be not happy about the situation uh, you need to reject your ex even if you feel secluded it's time to soul search reflect could be uh, uh you know this but the, the ex will end things with you you've got funeral and you've got no strings attached the ex doesn't want anything or this person from your past they don't want nothing from you so yeah uh, it's a stark warning a lot happening here for you but thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to again hi there so for those of you who have chosen uh, oracle card 2 which is awareness number 16 maybe something pivotal happening around the 16th of december something happening around the 16th of november will start your reading with the wheel of fortune so what you do not see coming is an opportunity some type of opportunity is headed your way it could be in the next 10 days in particular as well well, let's get more con context here um okay <laughs> unexpected communications headed your way right you don't see this communication coming again remember oh this is gonna make you very very happy uh it's going to make you feel very content someone's very lovely david this is something you've been waiting for for a very long time wow this is karmic by the way May have been, you may have been even waiting for this communication to come uh, to come into your life for the last seven months a week or seven years even this could have been a seven year cycle you've been dabbling with somebody you're segregated now they're coming back into your life because of this mercury retrograde could be a libran in particular of course uh this is also with the wheel of fortune and justice card speaks of heavy karmic uh situationship or situation right um there's some unresolved karma that needs to be uh lived through here but this is like an opportunistic type of attempt of someone being like hey let me hit up this person let me message them and see what they're saying whereas it was you who's been waiting for this person to reach out to you for a very long time but with the person reaching out to you i feel like they'll be testing the waters they've been waiting a long time to see when is the right time for them to actually apprehend you in such manner uh so as i say it could be someone someone from abroad even someone you haven't spoken to someone who have, could have relocated somebody who's you know two lives just went into separate directions and you never really spoke to this person again uh, as i said we are in mercury retrograde right now so expect the unexpected when it comes to exes coming back into your life wowzers this can lead <laughs> an unexpected communication that you have received or will be receiving given with time and patience it can lead to marriage a family legacy decades long commitment awareness remember that awareness card meaning i feel like you need to really start uh paying paying attention to you know things around you look gemini energy I might be dealing with this person who's between the ages of 25 to 35 
um, brown hair, green, brown eyes, lighter complexion. Of course, as I say, it doesn't have to be just prevalent within this courtier card. There's someone coming in hot and heavy and trying to put perspective on the situation. But they might be acting a bit impulsive or this person is not taking no for an answer as far as I'm aware here. But there is some clarity, like some type of chance encounter will inevitably make you feel like it's not a chance encounter at all. This is destiny. This is faith. This is meant to happen. You know, we don't meet people just by chance. People we meet are either a lesson or a blessing. Look, you've got two aces, the seven of uh, wands. This is something you may have been fighting for for a very long time with the hanged man. Um, there, ha there has or there will, although this person may come in and there's back and forth communications, there's, there's still some stagnation to be had. Things will not be, of course, uh, Rome wasn't built overnight. So there is stagnation, there is obstacles, there is some type of impulsive uh, verbal exchanges here between you and this person. But nonetheless, both of you want the same things. From the Ace of Pentacles, we yield the Ten of Pentacles and the Justice card, which talks about um, starting a new beginning, a stable new beginning, like let's say talking back and forth and testing the waters and seeing how you both get on to then really delving deeper into realizing that both of you want the same thing or it's just naturally flowing into a place of uh, divine commitment, marriage, Equal give and take balance, both being fair, both people being fair towards each other, both people very, very much aligned here. I really like this energy. Cancer. This could be, again, someone over distance, some travel involved, someone maybe traveling towards you. But there's also such succession in progress. Like once you guys start talking, um, there may be some push and pull in terms of things getting in the way, schedules getting in the way. Um, sometimes maybe you're feeling like you're like investing too much effort into this, but then you're not seeing things from this person's perspective and vice versa. I feel like both of you will be trying to make this work equally um, because it is a divine connection. But okay, we've got the tower and we've got the devil. Capricorn energy or there's something very shocking or this, this, this communication, in fact, may come to you around Capricorn season, which will be between December 22nd to January 21st, 20th or 22nd, I'm not sure, 2025. Capricorn season yields a lot of progression in your love life or with this particular person. Capricorn season will be the time where there are talks of marriage, family, travel, getting together, relocation. So it's just from tiny seedlings, you're reaping the whole garden of... Um, results in a sense because you've been waiting for this for a long time you have been patient and now karma is rewarding you the devil energy to me uh doesn't stand out to be something bad it could be that this is a capricorn unexpectedly coming into your life or a cancerian look you've got the empress energy um libra again taurus you're very much sat in your divine feminine energy by this i mean male female doesn't matter but you're practicing self-love self-care and your affections are, are earned. They're not given out freely to anybody. And because of this, now you're attracting this abundance in your love life because you're not scattering your attention into anybody but yourself. And by you loving yourself, you're attracting that love back, which is amazing. Really amazing, right? But you need to do a bit more work. You need to work on your... Um, <clears throat> self-love uh healing trauma we do have uh, the high priestess and the queen of wands there could be the truth coming out about somebody playing the field as well yes there can be uh, you know you finding out that maybe your person was married or is in a commitment or there's a temptress energy around as well like you're the empress but there could be another secret person around them the truth will come out but the situation will be overcome this could be the thing that's causing stagnation i don't know if you know this let's say your person you're dealing with is separated and they told you they're separated but lo and behold you find out that they're still living together or you know their ex is trying to get them back or some type of complication is definitely taking place there's some type of late night travel as well Ooh, a booty call don't if it's not a tragic involvement of, or anything of the sort I only say this because of the devil energy and because potentially someone's already married you may be aware of this don't don't be somebody's booty call don't be somebody's booty call uh, the Queen of Wands is very very much sexual energy, but she's the piece on the side because she's the High Priestess, right? She's just 
call her up, hit her up, and she'll come down and, and she'll come and meet you whatever time of the night, uh, you know, and she's just there for a good time. You need to sit in the Empress energy. You're the wife, you're the mother, you're the husband, you're the father. You're not the piece on the side. Make make you make yourself known and make your make yourself um make them aware of who you are. You're not you're not a piece on the side, you're not somebody's secret, you're not the temptress, you're not a booty call, you're the empress. Don't dabble in this uh, morale decreasing energy. I don't know why would you even do this. Everything was going so well. There's just, I feel like some of you may be deliberating even. Am I just a booty call to this person? Am I just a bit of fun? Or am I wife material, uh, mother, husband, father material to them, right? There could be some deliberations about your person, maybe the way they're behaving. Nothing has to happen, but maybe the way they treat you sometimes, you know, the unexpected thing is here is just like you may be wondering, are they just keeping their options open and treating me as, as a piece on the side, as a piece of a bit of fun? Or are they actually, they make you feel like you're the one. They make you feel like, you know, they want to have a family with you. But then sometimes they make you feel like, again, like they're just there for their sexual gratification, right? So you could be in two minds about this energy. This is really going to throw you off. So this is potentially what you don't see coming. It's like, are they a player or are they actually going to uh, consciously work on something more serious with me? There is some disappointment to be had and, and an ending to a third party with a Leo Aries or a Sagittarius. I feel like you will choose each other, but a third party needs to end. So it's either they're still keeping some uh, their options open or you're keeping your options open neither of you are taking this seriously and you should because it can really lead to good things you both make each other happy and you could have a happy family together here so see i feel like both of you have codependencies or both of you have this uh, codependent relationship addictions are affecting your romantic life it could be there over smoking over drinking you know you may be doing the same and it's just like you go back and forth there's this uh notion of unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going right but know that this person is safe to, to for you to to love, open your heart, to give and receive the ice energy of all, but you need to practice law of attraction. Like if you act as a booty call and as a bit on the side, then they'll continue treating you as such. If you act like the wife and the mother and know your worth, by the law of attraction, you're going to attract the things that you want. Marriage, family, legacy, you know, there, there's some travel. I did mention there is some travel, talks of travel taking place for, for you. And just stay optimistic about your love life someone's going to be making the effort and someone's going to be expressing their love and there's passion definitely there's definitely a passion but make sure it's not just a booty call here all right so a lot coming up spiritual gifts yeah you need to work on yourself on your spiritual gifts on your spiritual maybe you do tarot readings astrology readings healing reiki whatever the situation may be work on those police station you might be dealing with somebody who's getting in trouble with the law this could be causing stagnation between the both of you it could be that you and this person may not be able to communicate properly maybe they're getting incarcerated or getting in trouble with the law so they're detaching from you so you're just stuck in nostalgia in the memories this is where it may feel like this is an unrequited love because your person is just gonna up and disappear somewhere which is you're not seeing that coming uh but they'll come back and they, they may pop the question look i love you this person may be spying on you through secret accounts and someone's addictions are getting out the way due to somebody's addictions there could be massive regrets so make sure it's not you do everything right do everything to make yourself feel better and to enhance your own morale and your moral compass to attract good karma right let me just clarify quickly what, with this devil and this power energy not to leave it hanging there be more aware, be more self-aware, be more aware of what they're giving you and what they're not giving you and where you need to set the boundary, right? Also, this devil in the tower. The magician. Yeah, someone's someone's player, player ways are going to be exposed, but if it's not you, be them. So beware of that. Like, you may feel like this person is the one, but there is some type of intrinsic si situation that will take place where you're like... But you're fucking flirting with everyone. Like you told me you love me. You told me you want to get married. But you're out there chit-chatting everyone or flirting with everyone because you think you're this big Billy Big Bollocks player, right? And this could really destabilize the situation. This person's greedy and this person's insecure. So they need external validation. But you'll be able to bring them down. It could be a Taurus in particular. Because I feel like once you find out, you're going to be gone for good. But this person will rectify the situation and stop stop doing things they shouldn't be doing. But it may feel like a bit of a um, energy of betrayal for a little while. So anyway, thank you so much. Let's take a nap. Goodbye.
Hi you guys, so card three for those of you who chose a number 23 for forgiveness. Of course, some of you may be 23 years old, but let's see what's the unexpected thing or something you don't see coming into your love life. So we start with the hermit's energy, right? So uh, it's either you're dealing with a Virgo, a Virgo's coming back into your life, or lately, you know, you're just sitting in your own energy. You're feeling quite lonely. There's some type of solitude taking place in your love life. Maybe you and your person are not speaking because of that forgiveness card as well. Someone, so, Someone's trying to fight against the grain within this connection, right? Someone is, what you don't see coming is the loneliness that you may feel within this particular situation, relationship, marriage, whatever you're finding yourself in, right? With this two of swords, it's just, you feel like you just don't know enough about where things are headed you just don't know enough about your personal situation you don't know enough about them they may be very passive very secretive um you know you feel like you have to constantly fight an uphill battle with this person because they don't see things from your perspective but there's something that really connects you uh, in the 5d here you know you've been waiting a long time potentially to figure out who this person is what they're about but they're just <clears throat> very secretive there could be a, a, a moment of betrayal, uh, a moment of you feeling very mentally entrapped as there's like this analysis paralysis because of somebody's aggression. So what you don't see coming or what you don't expect to come and what is coming is conflict. Someone being very impulsive, someone being very horrible with what they're saying to you to make you feel even more trapped and more lonesome within this connection to a point you, where you feel betrayed. Be careful uh, with injuries. I don't know why for the first time within, within this particular turn of swords, there's the blood coming out here. I don't feel like anything bad, but it, as I say, you can read the same deck billions of times and in every other reading, there's some new detail that crops up. I see the blood here. So please beware of any injuries, right? It could be just a little accident, a little grace somewhere. Watch the people around you as well. But I feel like... I don't know if this person can get quite aggressive. Maybe they need to watch out because they may be getting involved in some type of conflict as well, which you, you don't see coming. There's some conflict that's brewing around your person and I feel like they've been very dismissive towards you because they're dealing with a lot of manipulative energies around them. Look, the devil, the knight of swords. Be careful not to get hurt. And I'm talking about getting physically hurt. Whoever you're dealing with here, this person is competent of physical abuse. <laughs> The devil and the knight of swords with all these energies. I did mention somebody getting hurt. It could be that someone's trying to lure you in out of your money. So please be careful. This is a very stark warning for part three, actually. Be careful with your money. If someone's asking you to pay something, pay for something, uh, especially your person. I feel like this person will be asking you for money. Uh, but the money is not going to the right, the, right, uh, the right sources. Whether it's going on their drink, on their drugs or on their gambling. I don't know. But please, some of you need to choose yourself and walk away from this situation momentarily or until things die down. If you feel like, you know, you can't leave this person. I don't know what the hell is going on here. But there's some manipulation. Someone may be trying to manipulate you out of your assets. It could be, let's say, an ex you share a mortgage with. You know, they're trying to get one over you. And when you, you know, set a boundary, they don't take no for an answer. So they get abusive verbally, psychologically, even physically abusive, right? Libra Taurus energy, so Capricorn energy here. Capricorn energy twice side by side, actually. It might be dealing with someone with black, brown hair, brown eyes, tan or darker complexion. Oh. <sighs> be careful of not taking things to heart when someone's trying to really hurt you um in terms of them bringing your value down someone's degenerating your value someone's decreasing your value you are the empress and the empress literally came out every single card reading if you feel compelled to watch another pile or even watch through the whole reading i'm sure you can find messages that resonate in all three piles although they are very different i must admit and this is the most dire pile i'm not gonna lie to you but always take tarot as a warning free will trumps everything it doesn't have to happen this way you know but you're you're having a warning and i feel like this is actually the most profound pile because there's the ability of you avoiding some type of escalation which may lead to somebody getting hurt okay again psychologically emotionally or even physically uh being fooled out your money it's time to walk away from situations that are no longer emotionally satisfying you. The Empress and the King of Swords, uh, Aquarius energy here. We are in Mars retrograde, right? So 
if you set a boundary and detach from this person, very likely they'll they'll try their utmost best to manipulate you and guessing what they want, right? But there's some type of late night travel as well. Someone could be turning up at your house. Someone could be spying or stalking near your house. So be careful with this as well. I don't know who the hell this person is, but they have a lot of time on their hands, right? The magician energy. What appears to be the truth is not the truth at all. Remember this, please. Uh, somebody's trying to project themselves as being very honest, very trustworthy, very loyal, very thorough, is actually a charlatan, right? So there could be an ex coming back to you trying to prove their point, but this ex has lied to you, deceived you, abused you, taken your money, used you for resources, maybe stayed at your house, you were paying for their food, you were paying for their phone bill, that type of energy, and, and, and they'll be back and they'll try again. I'm just telling you that now, so... But you need to nip it in the bud because you are destined to have a divine counterpart relationship with an older person or an Aries in particular, Aries Leo. Emperor and the Empress side by side, you need to walk away from this nasty energy, abuse. I know there's Stockholm Syndrome, there may be trauma bonding involved. Forgive, but don't forget. You are destined to have a divine counterpart relationship. But what's good having a divine counterpart high vibrational relationship when you're cheating yourself out of it? When you feel like you're not worthy of it? Somebody is not letting you go. You have options. Somebody is not letting you go. There's several people coming back from your past. It could be an air sign, an Aries or an older person. It could be a Leo. So Aquarius, Leo, Aries. Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Capricorn, uh, Sagittarius, Virgo. There's changes coming, big, big changes coming, which will yield more stability. So embrace an, an ending or a transformation as a blessing in disguise because it will make somebody see you from a better perspective. So there's a happy, uh, happy home, happy relationship, more clarity headed your way. There's successful progress forward. There's happiness. There's a new beginning. There's even marriage for you. My goodness. But remove yourself from energies that are tarnishing your well-being. Energies that are toxic, energies that are addictive, codependent, abusive. Energies that are using you for anything and everything you have. Whether you don't have to have much. People can still use you. People can still use you for cooking their food and tending to their needs and sexual needs and washing their clothes and ironing their clothes and you looking after their children in some cases. So I don't know what you're involved in here, but uh, whoever this person is, you need to let go and let be because there is someone better out there for you who's more on your vibration as well. These kings are not on your vibration. The empress is on your vibration because you are the empress. But you are putting yourself back down to the Queen of Pentacles energy. So the Empress obviously is an upgrade from the Queen of Pentacles because you're succumbing to these vices, temptations, the past patterns. You know, it says, look, let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Someone will be coming forth and expressing their love towards you. Someone's really trying to control you here. I want to clarify that Seven of Swords actually because it's really out of place because these are really good cards, right? And we have that Seven of Swords. But Seven of Swords is more so, it could really talk about, maybe you're, you're destined to be with an Aquarius or a fire sign, right? <sighs> this person is actually very strategically planning their future with you. There's some type of, a lot of thoroughness and thoughtfulness is going into it. And you may not see this coming, uh, but this person is actually really investing a lot of time and thoroughness in thinking about how to make this happen. Because look, you've got the lovers and you've got the Ace of Cups, so it's not bad at all. This person may think about trapping you by pregnancy as well. well not, not bad if this is someone you want to be with and have a family with. But they're definitely thinking about getting you, let's say, uh, getting with you and suddenly, you know, get, getting you to conceive. So they can ensure that you're always going to be there for them, right? But with the lovers and the Ace of Cups, there's the purity of the heart, so it's not all bad. It's the purity of the heart, this person wanting to be with you, but there is, look, forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment, you've been through a lot of abuse, maybe physical abuse even, people may have used, abused you, tied you up even, beaten you up, really, I'm sorry if you've been going through any of these types of situations, could be relaying back to child abuse as well, of you being a child and being abused and you allow yourself to repeat that pattern in your love relationships by accepting people that were very, very manipulative, toxic and abusive because 
it's the norm but it's no longer the norm because you have grown to love yourself and there's someone around you who really wants to buy this connection they feel you're the one it's good around aquarius season so january end of january to february you know someone's really gonna try to make sure they uh they, they put a ring on it or they they really secure this with you because they're worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life but you need to heal family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents some of you need to forgive your parents let your friends help you ask and accept support from others and keep an open mind because your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation this emperor whoever this person is here aside from all this energy that you need to deal with and heal and keep away from um, is very different to very different background maybe a very different place they come from maybe even living in a different place they're just so different but yet you both may have that very profound twin flame uh, connection and you know you need to work on this so instead of entertaining the past entertain the divine counterpart connection right it's either coming or it's already in your life see someone has massive regrets and this is your divine divine masculine it could be that this is your divine masculine or divine feminine who's been very very bad and abusive in the past or has been abused in the past and they need to work on themselves they have a lot of regrets maybe even in how they treated you this person is really spiritually elevating and you have uh, accelerated their spiritual uh, ascension there's some shocking news about a goodbye maybe you're saying goodbye to somebody and walking away from them which was going to take them by a shock or some wish will be fulfilled once you shut the door to the past a new energy can come in there's some bad news your wish may uh, your wish may take longer. Workplace affair, you may find out. Don't entertain anything as well that you shouldn't be entertaining. Look, divine masculine, divine feminine. There's definitely a twin flame sign here, but you know you're dealing with a lot of uh, person who's got a lot of secrets and maybe a phony. So it's either your own twin flame is stuck in this un unhealthy energy or has been, or this is talking about you. Um, and you're dealing with someone from the past or dealing with somebody who's very bad for you. You know, you deserve a better, a, a better, more profound spiritual connection. But yeah, you're succumbing to the low vibrational demonic uh, type of relationship. So I love you. Rejected and feeling like shit. Someone could be coming telling you they love you out of nowhere. And you're going to reject them. Or be careful that somebody else doesn't reject you. But if they do, then remember rejection is divine protection. So thank you so much. Take care. Goodbye.